Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the test flight and uh, second part of the review for the AKK camera and uh, FPV transmitter combo. Uh, today I'm going to try to get some uh, distance with it to see how uh, it copes. Uh, I'm using a regular type all antenna. The second antenna here is for the, from the internals of the aircraft. Uh, it has another video transmitter. They are working at different frequencies. Not the uh, ideal conditions, but I'm going to use this because it also sends out telemetry and uh, we'll use that to assess the distance that we get to. So, without more talking, we are going to go to action. Today is a bit windy, hopefully it will be okay. So I'm going to connect the aircraft, let it a bit steady to calibrate the gyro. So now let's calibrate uh, the compass and uh, what is uh, needed. So calibrate compass 1. Oh, I need to rotate the aircraft a few times in the same direction until I get a compass 2 message. Compass 2, face down and rotate it until I get an OK message. OK, compass was successfully calibrated. Now I'm going to tuck in the wires here and close the battery cover. I'm gonna put it there. We have GPS told. GPS lock is on. All seems to be fine. Let's take a look at the monitor. DVR is still recording, so let's initialize the motors. Motors are on. Let's take it a bit up. So, everything is fine. The quad is doing fine. The footage is getting in just fine, so let's get some distance between me and the aircraft and it's at almost 400 meters now the video footage is fine but when I accelerate and uh, the aircraft tilts because of the antenna orientation the screen uh, will uh, make lots of distortions but not a big deal now it has stabilized if I'm flying slower it won't do that but if I punch it it will uh, take my view away I'm going to take it a bit more up, maybe we can clear some of uh, those uh, interferences. And yes, the video is getting better. 700 meters. And I'm at 120 meters height. I'm going to keep that altitude. Let's see if I can push it further. goes 750 meters I still get image now it's kind of breaking up I'm going to reduce the speed a bit to see if uh, it stabilizes or not there it goes now it's final it's uh, it's something related with uh, the speed of the aircraft it's influenced a lot, but uh, as you can see, now the image is perfectly clear. So definitely with uh, some uh, better antennas, we'll do much better. These are just plain antennas, nothing serious. And I'm still getting away from me. I'm reaching almost 900 meters. I'm 
going to reduce the speed again. Alright, so let's see if I can get it to 900 meters. Nine hundred meters. There it goes. I have uh, let the throttle off, but now it's not it's not doing so good. So I'm going to bring it back home. So it was at. Uh, let me show you. Just a moment. I'm going to push it right at nine hundred meters mark. I'm going to try to take a snapshot of the camera with the camera of the monitor so there it goes I don't know if you can see it here 897 901 meters and that's how it looks you can see there are moments when uh, it's still doing just fine uh, I'm definitely going to get a lot more range and better quality by replacing the antenna and remember now I'm running two uh, transmitters on the same aircraft so uh, that also has a lot of influence on that so now I'm going to bring it back home full speed ahead It's called flying line, line of sight, but I don't see it. I sh probably shouldn't uh, told that, but that's how it is. And there is my bird. And the test is now over. I'm going to stop the DVR recording so that it saves the files properly. Where is my DVR? There it is. Okay, recording it stopped. So, as you have uh, seen, you can get 900 meters with powerful interference from a second. Uh, video transmitter there and uh, with a lot of uh, wireless networks around and with a simple dipole antenna so this transmitter can uh, really be opened up with no interferences and uh, a better uh, a better antenna